everyone welcome back to continental food and cake tv if today is your first time here you are highly highly welcome my name is joy joy today's video i'm going to show you how to make vegetable pie vegetable roll and vegetable balls it tastes so delicious it's so yummy that you don't want to miss it so let's get started the first ingredients you're going to need is mixed veg. I'm using frozen one, but you can also use fresh one. So in this pack, I have cauliflower, green peas, carrots, and broccoli, but you can make up your own vegetable. So next I transfer to a pot, then add boiling hot water. After that, I transfer to a medium heat and cook for at least 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook the vegetable. While the vegetable is cooking, let's make the dough. In this bowl, I have 400 grams of self-rising flour. To that, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. Then add 70 grams of butter. After that, I mix the butter and the flour until I achieve a breadcrumbs consistency. While mixing the flour and the butter, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Also leave your comment and let me know if you're going to try this recipe. So next I add one egg. After that, I mix together until it's well combined. Then add milk and I'm adding the milk bit by bit. But you can also use water to mix your own, but milk will add flavor to the dough. So mix together until you achieve a non-stick dough. When you're mixing your dough, you don't want a dough that is too soft. So the texture you should be going for is a dough that is not soft and not hard, a non-stick dough. Once the dough has come together, knead it for at least one or two minutes. You don't want to over knead it because we're using it for pie. So after that, just cover the dough and allow it to rest for at least 20 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and I'm going to check on the vegetable. Please do not overcook your vegetable. So after 10 minutes, just take it off the heat and allow it to cool down completely. You don't want your vegetable to be too soft. So I'm going to show you what I mean. You don't want it to, you see, I'm finding it difficult to break it. As you can see, it's still firm. Take it off the heat and transfer it to a food basket. If you have a basket, then allow it to cool down completely. Next, transfer it to a food processor. I did not use all the green peas, I left some out, you can use that for your salad. So next I add garlic powder, half a teaspoon, ginger powder, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of chicken seasoning, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of curry powder, and the curry powder that I'm using is Asian curry powder. I'm going to show you what the packet looks like. After that, I add a teaspoon of curry masala for that asian flavor i'm showing you the packet so that you can go and get yours next add onion chopped onion one onion after adding all the seasoning the next step is to blend when you're blending please do not blend smooth you want a rough blend you want to blend and stop and blend and stop until you achieve a rough blend you want to see the pieces of your vegetable if you're finding it difficult to blend it this is what i did i i know i stay it so that it will be easy you don't want to add water if you add water you're going to you know disturb the consistency so just mix it together and start again you stop and start and until you achieve a rough blend and the list of all the ingredients that I use is going to be on the description box. So please check that out and also give this video a thumbs up. If you've not given it a thumbs up and leave your comment, let me know if you're going to try this. This tastes yummy. I'm telling you, it tastes so delicious and yummy. So this is the consistency and the texture you should be going for a rough blend next transfer to a plate so here i have the dough i have the filling the vegetable filling then i have some flour in case if it's sticking on my hands so i'm taking a handful of the dough i, I want to make the balls i'll show you how to make the ball a handful of dough then you can also use your flour to make sure that it does not stick to your hands or fingers so with your fingers flatten the dough that's method one on how to make the uh, vegetable balls so once the dough is flat very flat as you want it then you can now scoop a tablespoon of the vegetable mix 
and place on the dough on top of the dough then wrap it and cover it you can reduce the filling if it's too much which is what i'm doing after that just use the dough and cover the vegetable that's how to make the vegetable balls i'm going to show you other methods on how to make it so just make sure you you know touch it and touch it and wrap it until it's covered completely it's very easy to make this very very easy and it you can use it for your party you can make it for your party if you're making party so next is to take a handful and roll it out yeah that's another method on how to make the the balls the vegetable balls roll it flat not too flat so after rolling it uh, scoop a tablespoon of the vegetable filling yeah you can hold the dough in your hands or you can leave it on the floor so yeah hold it you know place it on one of your hands and scoop a tablespoon of the vegetable filling place it in the center of the dough after that just wrap it or cover it cover the dough with the vegetable filling that's method two on how to make your vegetable balls <laughs> next we're going to make the vegetable pie so here i have one egg i'm going to mix the egg until it's well combined then keep it for the vegetable pie so we need the egg to brush the top and also help to seal the vegetable pie so i place a dough in a clean surface and i flour the surface yeah so roll the dough until flat to make the vegetable pie i'm using a pie mold but you can use a round plate to cut your dough so this is the pie mold that i'm using but you can use a round plate so place your dough on top of the pie mold after that scoop a tablespoon of the vegetable filling and place in the center of the dough after that use the egg white and brush the edge of the dough to help it seal when you cover it so next cover it and press firmly after pressing firmly next remove the excess dough for use later open the pie dough and you're going to get this beautiful vegetable pie i'm going to repeat this step again just roll out your dough after rolling out your dough place your dough on top of the pie mold after that, scoop a tablespoon of the vegetable mix and brush the edge of the dough. After that, cover the pie mold and press firmly. After that, remove the excess dough and keep for use later. Open the pie dough and you're going to get this beautiful vegetable pie. Remember, you can also use a round plate to make your vegetable pie. Next step is to make the vegetable roll. I flour my surface, then place a handful of dough. After that, I roll the dough flat. With this dough, you have to roll it flatter than when you're making the vegetable pie. After rolling the dough, next scoop a tablespoon of the vegetable filling and place in one side of the dough. With the other side, brush with the egg wash so that when you're rolling, it's going to next seal. roll it up. And when you're rolling the vegetable roll, roll three times or four times, then pinch the edge the edge so that when you're frying it, it's not going to open. That's what I'm doing. Then roll it up again and pinch the edge please you have to do that so that when you're frying it's not going to open and this is how to roll vegetable roll so here i have all of it vegetable pie vegetable ball vegetable roll so next step is to fry i have my pan in a medium high and i've been heating up my oil for at least 15 minutes so to check if the oil is hot enough use a long stick if it's bubbling that means it is hot so next drop your vegetable pie 
and fry until it turns golden brown. Remember not to overcrowd your fry pan when you're frying your own vegetable pie. And you also, you don't want to walk away from meat. You want to stay there and continue flipping over until it is golden brown. And this vegetable pie tastes so delicious. So if you're trying to reduce the intake of your meat, then this is the pie for you it tastes delicious trust me you don't want to miss this and also let me know if you're going to try this give this video a thumbs up please leave your comment are you going to try this recipe and if you do come back and tell me so once you fry your vegetable pie and it's golden brown the next step is to scoop it out but before you do that you want to place a kitchen towel on your plate to soak up the excess oil before you scoop it out and it's yummy. <laughs> look at this yumminess you can't even tell it's vegetable pie it is so yummy so next step is to fry the vegetable balls the same way put an eye on it fry it until it turns golden brown also with the vegetable roll guys this recipe is three in one so you're getting three in one so imagine if you want to make a party you can just make this make the balls make the rolls and make the pie and people just come there thinking you did three things but it's just one recipe yes one recipe one dough but different shape yes and you're going to achieve that different shape with one recipe so once it turns golden brown scoop it out very easy to make trust me and you're going to love it, it tastes so delicious so this is how to make vegetable pie vegetable roll and vegetable balls at home at the comfort of your home To eat it, I mix ketchup and mayonnaise for a dip. So if you if you want a dip, because that's how I enjoy my, mix it together and you know dip it and enjoy it with a cold drink. Trust me, it is so yummy. Let me show you what the inside look like. Look at this goodness, yummy, yummy. That's the ball. I'm also going to show you what it looks like when you dip it. Look at this goodness. It is yummy. Let's move on to the vegetable pie. Let's open it and see what is inside. Look at this goodness. Would you tell? You would not tell it is vegetable pie until you open it. It is so yummy, delicious. After that, I'm going to show you what the roll look like. Look at this yumminess. I tell you this is so yummy. Open it, it is flaky delicious the filling is so delicious just the way i season it so please check the description box you're going to find all the list of the ingredients so this is how to make vegetable pie vegetable roll and vegetable balls subscribe if you've not subscribed and give this video a thumbs up i love you all and i will see you in another one Bye bye